Alan here with Firewalls.com. In this video, we will be demonstrating how to create local users and groups on your Cephos XG firewall. When using local authentication, the Cephos XG firewall will create the entry for each user in the local database. When using this type of authentication, the administrator will manually create each user and assign the users to groups as needed. This is best suited for companies that are smaller in size and do not have any form of directory service in place. It's also a pretty simple way to allow a guest user access in networks or zones which require authentication. To create a local user, we'll first need to be logged into the web admin of our Sophos XG firewall. Once logged into our web admin, we'll select objects from our menu, followed by identity in our submenu, and users. To create our local user, we'll select the add button. Next, we'll need to provide our username. In this example, we'll just call this Sophos support. And our name here is Sophos Support. This is our Sophos Support user. Followed by a password. And confirm our password. Next, we can select whether this is just a basic user or an administrator. Selecting administrator allows us to select an administration profile that can be used for our new administrator. In this example, we'll just let this be a regular user. We'll enter in our email address for our user here. Next, we'll build out some basic policies to be applied for our user, Sophos Support. Here, we'll add our Sophos Support user to our open group, which we can see auto-populates the remaining options. And if we scroll down just a little bit, we can also build out an SSL VPN policy, which can be applied to our local user, Sophos Support. We will be demonstrating this in a separate video. In this example, we'll just go ahead and select Save, where we can see that our user Sophos support has been registered successfully. So the Sophos XG firewall will now authorize our user Sophos support's requests against the local database and policies which require local authentication. We demonstrate building out user-based policies in a separate video. Now that we've created our local user here, we can begin to build out our groups. We'll do this by going back to Objects, Identity, and Groups. Select the Add button to create a new group. We start by giving our group a name. In this example, we'll name this engineering for our engineering users. Give it a description. Just call this our engineering users. We can also specify the group type, either normal or clientless. You would typically want to use clientless for hosts with Mac OS or printers. We'll leave this set for normal. Next, we'll build the policy to be applied for our users that will be included in our engineering group. Here, under surfing quota, we'll allow for unlimited internet access. Access will be allowed all the time. We won't specify any network traffic or do any kind of traffic shaping. And we will configure remote access for our engineering group in a separate video. We'll go ahead and select save. Where we can see our new engineering group has been created. Where we can now come back and add our local user to our new engineering group. Select our Cepho support user. Come down here to our policy and group. You can now see our engineering has been added to our list here. Go ahead and select engineering and save. And that's it. Thanks for watching.